So, second time actually fishing here this week. The last time I came here, I was here only about half an hour or so. I hooked three fish pretty quickly, but I lost all of them. Well done, Phil. Fish on. Had a good feeling about that cast. Now I'm on a bit of a losing streak in this pool. It's taking the glow bomb, I think, to drop it. There we go. Here's the glow bomb. He's pretty small. Oh, mate, smile for the camera. There we go, nice young jerk. And he's off. There we go. That was a super late strike. Now he's taking the glow bomb. So egg patterns, order of the day. Maybe I should take the hearing copper off. That doesn't have much energy. Oh, that's actually quite a nice fish. There we go, have a look at that. There we go. Pretty happy with that. Good fish. Fuck yeah. Excuse the language. That's such a good fish. Woohoo! Check out the pumps. Come to my net, you beauty. Oh god. He is putting on a show. Did go well at Sea World. There we go. Whew. I almost lost him while reaching for him. Weighing at four and a half. He looked a bit bigger when he was jumping around, but still pretty, still stoked with that. Woohoo, check him out. Yeah. Beautiful head. So that leader was way too long. And one thing I love about the setup I use is I can just take my indicator, slide it down. There we go. That was just in behind that rock. Not sure how he is in terms of quality. I think he's fouled. He's either fouled or wrapped. It's like trying to tow a bit of four for two up the stream side on. Tail's got the glow bomb, which is my dropper fly. He's got something in his mouth. So that's, oh god, I don't know if I want to even put this fish on the camera. So he was wrapped up, not, um, not foul hooked. So that is one skinny, bad conditioned fish. 
Off you go. Definitely not the prettiest fish. Or the biggest. Or the best condition or anything really. But we got him just out there behind that rock. A little bit further out than that. I did not realise I was not recording here. I hooked him just a bit further up from here. I don't think he's too big. He's hooked on the Peur de Jean. Peur de Jean. I think that's how it's pronounced. There we go. Definitely not in the greatest condition again. It's two in a row like that. Let's try to finish this note on a nice fish. There we go, that feels like the nice fish, maybe. Uh, swim towards me. Swim towards me. It's definitely bigger than the other one, I think. I just got a glimpse of them. Yeah, that's a nicer fish. That's probably only about three or four casts after that last. Not so nice a fish. I've noticed they really hit the flies in here. They don't just, um, they're not subtle takes at all. Your bloody indicator starts screaming on upstream. Oh! And we've lost him. Oh well. It was bound to happen. I'd landed, I think, five from five. Or four from four, I'm not sure. I'm gonna call that an afternoon. Got here around three-ish, it's probably about five now. So I'll tag something onto the end of this video just to round it off a little bit. But what was that, hooked into six fish? I'm not sure if I hooked into five or six fish over this time, but um, either way, lost one of them. And a couple of nice ones amongst them, which was nice. And a few of them looked a bit spent, sort of mid-spawning, so got them back in the water quick. And just before we head off to this next spot, make sure to hit the like button if you like what you're seeing so far and hit the subscribe button. There'll be a watermark down in the right hand corner and just whack that. It won't take you away from the page, won't take you away from the video and we'll keep catching some fish. So two days later, I thought I might stop in at the Hinny, get a couple more fish to really finish off the video. <laughs> time favorite spots on the honey no one in it great and I just caught this guy by letting my nymphs rise at the bottom of my drift. Just leave them down there, let them swing, and they rise up in quite a natural manner. The problem is you don't get a very good hook set on them, so. Yeah, like, that happens and they get off. We've actually missed the hookup of this guy. I'm a bit gutted at because he did two really awesome jumps. 
He's fucking strong. Now he doesn't have the current on his side. There we go. Small fish, but good fighter. Here we go, on a fly that I tied when I was 12 years old. Ah. Oh. God. Fucking amateur. Okay, just retied after losing my fly on that snag over there. There we go, first cast back into it. Feels good. I got a flash and it looked quite silver. So it'd be cool if we could catch one that's a bit fresh. I wonder if this too is on the fly that I tied when I was 12. Just having a look at some of the old flies that I used to tie and I found one and I thought, oh that actually looks alright. I thought I'd just left all my first flies that were pretty shitty in there but I thought nah, that's, that'll fish. And it's already got one on the board today, so can it get two? This tension setting is super high too. If I can steer him into here, I'll probably lose him even attempting this. He's going under the log. He's trying to. I've got heaps of pressure on. He's just really trying to get under that log. There he is here. This fish has BDE. He knows what he's up to. Should be able to get the net on him if we can get him in this area in here. Into the slower water. Beauty fish. This fish is a football. Ooh. Looky there. There we go. Check him out. Her out. Off he goes. So that's it for today's video. Try not to cram too much content into one video. I did keep having a fish and ended up forgetting to sign off this video at the Hini. But anyway, I went for a walk along the Tongaro this morning and I've come across this really nice pool behind me and so that's probably coming up in a future video but be sure to like comment subscribe and thanks for watching